What up YouTube, Anthony Lewis with Living Proof Fitness. People keep asking me, how come you don't become a personal trainer? You love fitness so much. I've had random people say it, people at work say it, family members say it, friends say it. This is the deal. Right now I'm actually currently working on getting my personal trainer certification. That's for some plans in the future. It has nothing to do with training anybody one-on-one -on -one anytime soon. I make these videos because these videos are easy to make when I'm getting into my fitness shit. I can just turn on the camera, tell y'all whatever information that, that you guys requested or what's on my mind or anything that I think that you guys might find valuable, and I just leave it at that. I don't have to sit there and waste my time training one-on-one. -on -one. When I say waste my time, this is what I hate. This is why I cannot be a personal trainer, at least right now anyways. I just don't have the fucking patience for it. If I was getting paid, then it might be different because at least at the end of the day, I'm still getting paid. But this is the thing, is so many motherfuckers just talk shit. They just fucking act like they want to get into fitness or they think that they really do, but then they just don't really have the fucking drive to do it. And that's just something that I fucking cannot stand. One of my buddies, for example, just recently came back to Alaska and the whole time he's talking about, damn, man, you know, I see the picture that you've been posting and shit. You get in shape, you know, you used to be like this and now you've changed and shit. When I get back, I want you to be able to help me get on my fucking fitness shit. Get me fucking yoked, whatever the fuck, right? He gets back. And I fucking tell him, all right, you ready to get in the gym? Well, one more day, one more day. Keeps fucking bullshitting like this. Long story short, we finally get around to it. And this motherfucker is half-assing in the gym. I'm telling him, come on, man. You know, we're not really going all out right now. You're not even doing everything that I normally do in the gym. Just fucking do this. You know, take it light. And fucking, he was fucking struggling the whole fucking way. Which I understand, you know, everybody's going to struggle when they first start, but he was just complaining, like just bitching about every fucking little workout and shit. So fucking annoying. And then like after like two days, maybe three days, I can't remember exactly how long it was, but it was like really short like that. Two days, three days, and he fucking quit. And he just was like, you know what, man, I'll just take it up when I'm actually ready, blah, blah. You know, I was like, it's fucking annoying because he's not the first one that's done this shit. A lot of people have actually done this shit. You know, and I would be so fucking actually excited for one of my buddies or somebody who's close to me to get into fitness because I fucking love to do this shit. I do it all the fucking time. And it'd be nice to actually go to the gym with somebody once in a while besides Fredo, you know what I'm saying? I can't go with any fucking buddy because nobody's actually dedicated. They just talk shit. They're not really about that life because if they were, then they just fucking stick with it. People just talk shit. They act like they want to fucking be about it, but then they just fucking they quit all the fucking time. I forget the exact statistics. What are the numbers for how many people quit? I was just reading something about that the other day and I can't believe I already forgot. But it was something about the New Year's resolutions and shit. So people who decide to make this resolution, especially when it comes to fitness and how many give up, I think it was like 78% of people who make fitness goals for the resolution give up. If I don't remember, if I remember correctly, that's what it was. So yeah, that's only 22 fucking percent that actually keep going really short you know what I'm saying so I just happen to know the wrong fucking people I guess but yeah you know what I'm saying I, I just don't like spilling out information over fucking Facebook through fucking text messages one-on-one -on -one fucking conversations phone calls whatever the fuck and just giving all this fucking info just for them to turn around and be like yeah yeah you know I'm, I'm gonna be about it I'm gonna do it this is and that and then fucking Later on that fucking week, I just see him stuffing their face with fucking Burger King and all kinds of just dumb shit when I was just giving him all this dieting fucking information on how to lose weight. I'm just like, you son of a bitch. What the fuck, man, you know? Shit's annoying. I don't know. I get annoyed really easy with that kind of shit. So that's why I can't be a personal trainer right now one-on-one. -on -one. Because when I see that kind of shit, it just annoys the fuck out of me, man. I feel like whooping some fucking ass, you know? At least this way, you know what I'm saying, when I'm doing the videos... Either you can take the information that I give, or you can just throw it out the fucking window. You don't have to do anything that I fucking say, you know what I'm saying? I'm just giving advice, and the beauty of it is I don't have to fucking see y'all motherfuckers' faces if you just want to fucking give up. Now, people who are making success or find anything that I say valuable and it's working for them, it'd be awesome to see a fucking picture or, you know, give a shout-out or something and say, hey, you know, you, you mentioned this in one of your videos and it's helped me to, to achieve this. That'd be awesome, but... For all the people who just want to give up, man, I can give a fuck about them, man. I mean, fucking, it's just, 
people need to start having drive. Quit being so fucking lazy. If fitness isn't for you, hey, that's cool. Fitness isn't for everybody. But if you're going to sit there and talk about it, then do it. I, that's something I cannot stand is somebody who just fucking talks and ain't about it. You know what I'm saying? My hair is still fucking looking nuts. I got to get a fucking haircut. But I'm at work right now, man, so it don't fucking matter. But anyways, anybody who wants me to speak on a certain topic, just drop it in the comments below or send in a private message, send in an email. And if I've already done it and I know information about it, then I'll post it. Thing about my channel is I'm not going to post some bullshit that I have no clue about. You know what I'm saying? If you can fucking Google this shit or go, go Google it. I'm going to give you guys information on shit that I've done to get to where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, this video, I don't want it to be drug out and be all long and boring. I just wanted to give my opinion on why I don't want to be a personal trainer one-on-one -on -one right now anyways. In the future, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know what some of the plans are with what I'm trying to do and where the personal trainer certification is going to take place. But that'll be some other time. Y'all take it easy. Get your asses up. Get up in the gym. Make you some motherfucking gains. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Show the love. Anthony Lewis, Living Proof Fitness. I'm making gains, bruh. Are you?